ladies and gentlemen, I am Bort97, and welcome to another week of Destiny 2. It is now, what, week 7? And Season of the Lost. So, last week had a great story. This week's story, who knows how it's going to go, and I can't wait to find out. How about you? So let's get right in it and hand on over to the helm to the Wayfinder's Compass. When I first saw Pro, I looked into his mind. I did not see my brother's memories. Savathun dredged them from a place beyond my grasp when she revealed his past life to him. She suspects I do not mean to let her live once the separation ritual is complete and is testing our patience. Perhaps she means only to hurt me. The risk of her cunning is too great, no matter her intentions. Until the conditions are right for us to exorcise her worm, I am restricting all access to Sabathun. I will, however, afford you one last meeting to conclude your investigations before I seal her away. Steal your mind when you face her, Guardian. The Witch Queen is no less dangerous now than she has ever been. We have one last Techium to locate. Go forth. All right, go ahead and accept this and you'll get the next quest step. First off, this week, per usual, what you'll want to do is head on over to the Dreaming City, and you're going to be clicking to do the Astral Alignment after you pick up your Wayfinder's Compass uh, quest step. I'll tell you this, though. The quest step did seem a bit different this week after you do the Astral Alignment. I did not get a prompt for doing the, what was it called? Parallax Trajectory. Instead, I was um, told to go to the helm and head on over and do the Shadowed Realm as the next quest step. So, I guess if you've already gone in enough Parallax Direction, you don't have to do that quest step at all. Once you're done with that step, all you have to do, once you're done in the Shadowed Realm, that is, and listen to the dialogue at the end, you just have to go back to the Wayfinder's Compass once more. So, you'll get that little prompt, and then you'll head on to the next quest step after that. So, let's go ahead and listen on to the next set of dialogue. Excellent work, Guardian. We couldn't have done it without you. Petra. How many of your Techians are stranded in the Ascendant Plane? I sent 13 to bring Queen Mara back to us. Others left to rescue those that never returned. It's doubtful they all survived. Zidor Roth saw to that. She meant to strand you and bleed you out. Not while I'm here. The Awoken have been bleeding for a long time, Ikora. Why do you think I opened the shore to you? All right, now this quest step is done, head on over to the helm. Preparations for Sabathun's exorcism are underway, but the ritual can't begin without a cosmic alignment. It will take time. I want to express my gratitude for saving our new coven of Techians. They are young, with many years left to train. You've preserved their potential. Thank you. I tried to do the same for Crow, even if it pains my queen to see him leave. Hard to imagine there's a safer place for him than at her side, but... This is for the best. You saw what Savathun did to him. She could do more. Prince Aldrin and I were friends once, you know. In our own strange way. I still think about him all the time. The sound of that gunshot. He's free now. To find his way between the stars. If only we could all be so lucky. 
All right, once you're done listening to Petra's message, go on ahead and head over to Sabathun in Marisov's chambers. I've been keeping tabs on you. Your victories against my sister. The mess you've made of the Ascendant Plane while you rescued your third string witches. Delightful to see so many working towards a common goal, isn't it? I'm glad I can again be the catalyst that brings humanity and the Reef together. It's a pity Mara Sav doesn't see it that way. Her face is a perfect porcelain mask. But look behind her eyes, and you can see the incandescent rage burning within. She's very upset with me. This will be our last talk until the day of the ritual, or guardian mine. Now that Marasov's coven is assembled, the only thing left to do is to keep Zebu Arath from ruining things while the ley lines fall into position. This may take some time. But I have waited millennia to be free. I can hold out for just a little bit longer. Farewell. For now. Alright, go on back to the Wayfinder's Compass and pick up your reward, which is an exotic sparrow for the entire Wayfinder's Voyage. Such a interesting little reward. I thought we'd get more of that, but hey. I guess we'll see if there's any more story elements coming out later on, which there will be. And that will be the end of the entire video. And as always, I'd like to end it off holding my pet chicken and petting it in front of everyone because it's a holographic chicken. Who doesn't like a good glowing pet, right? But uh, thank you all for watching today's video. I will say this. Um... I am very interested to see what's going to happen. There's going to there's a lot of de development with the Crow, with Sabathun, Mara, all of it. And they said something about a cosmic alignment. I bet that will be the legendary version of the astral alignment that will be coming out because that makes sense, right? You know, uh, well, it's astral alignment and we've been doing all that and they need a cosmic alignment. All right, let's do a legendary version. So that's probably what's going to happen. So once again, thank you for today's video. I will see y'all next time, probably when all the Halloween stuff comes out. Please comment down below, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos. Bye-bye.